So I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to uh, mill, t mill turn a, uh, a thread mill the hole. Uh, so in other words, thread mill the, the hole. Uh, I've got an 11 uh, 24 part here in mill turn. I'm on the sub spindle side and I'm going to go to model prep, create a hole axis. And if you notice, I'm, I'm already on level 11, where my 11, 16, 24 part is. And in this bore on the face of the part, I'm going to create a whole axis. This is all I need, a circle with a point on the front side. Uh, and then I'm going to take this hole, click on it, push F4, uh, function 4 on the keyboard. And I'm going to take this diameter and make it uh, 11 sixteenths that major diameter and then I'm gonna actually subtract I don't know if this is really important or not I mean obviously I have offsets in the lathe but I'm gonna subtract like two thou which will give me more of a more of a or in fact I'm doing that wrong I should I should actually uh, that that applied to an OD thread so I, I just need the uh, nominal 11 sixteenths and so there I have my, my size. Uh, I'm going to, just for the sake of finishing what I'm doing, do the same thing to my uh, other thread here, whole axis uh, on a 578, 28. Oh, that was a mistake. So uh, I actually need to delete that. Uh, I was on the wrong level, so... I've got many of these threads to do, so uh, whole axis I create on the correct level now. Click F4 and again change my diameter 0.578 and uh, I can also go to these other two levels which I uh, similarly screwed up F4. This is a 13 and a half millimeter thread, so 13.5 millimeter. So and uh, come over here, F4.5. So all my nominal di diameters exist, and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, drill a hole, and so I won't waste the time of showing you that. So I uh, created the uh, a lathe drill tool path to create a hole in my stock. I created a lathe rough, lathe finish to get what you see here, uh, you know, a profile ready to uh, thread mill. And so uh, one of the first things you're going to run into is, a, is you're going to need a tool for thread milling. So I'm going to use this Carmex uh, 0375H12, the 12 millimeter inserted indexable uh, tiny thread mill for this operation. And that has a cut diameter of 375 uh, and is recommended for a minimum bore of approximately, uh, I want to say there's some kind of formula that's like 460 thou anyway. Uh, I go to milling because I'm in, I'm in mill turn. Uh, go to my 2D pass, go to thread mill, uh, create a hole definition. It asks me for a hole definition. I use this wireframe that I created with uh, model prep uh, whole axis and so I have the the whole now I have to create a tool and I want to create a thread mill next I'm going to be cutting a 36 mil uh, uh, TPI thread the outside diameter of my thread mill is 0 0.350, I believe, the cut diameter, uh, I'm sorry, 375. And the overall length of the thread mill, that's fine, whatever. The cutting length, 12 millimeter. And that that is important for verify. And then if I go, uh, let me see, I, I, I could depict the shank diameter, that's uh, 300. I believe the neck diameter on that tool 
and then I uh, give this a tool number of six, whatever. Uh, and I, I know from experience that uh, we're going to run, uh, you know, I want to say 4,000 RPM. And our instrumented feed rate is going to be, now that isn't right. Uh, where's my RPM? Spindle speed, okay. 4,000. Uh, number of flutes, there's one. This is an indexable single insert thread mill. And my feed rate is approximately, I want to say 10.5. So there you go, there you have a two, 2006 tenths feed. It's pretty heavy for this 300 shank tool, uh, but it's where the insert wants to cut. If I slow that down, uh, I'll blow the tool. Uh, we cut it in two passes, but I don't use the dialog for that. I bring the tool in twice. Uh, it's kind of uh, whatever, maybe a little stupid. Uh, maybe at some point I'll figure the, the, the way out to do multiple passes. That I'm going to use C-axis face on the lower right. Uh, that's because I don't have a lower Y on the machine. The, uh, tt 18 rsy Tucson. Uh, use stock. Uh, I don't know if that's even important. Uh, number of active teeth is automatically figured from the height of the insert and the t TPI you gave it. Uh, thread start angle. You know, I don't, I don't know that I care. Well, we'll take a look and see how, how terrible this goes. We've got a right hand thread. It's ID. Machine direction, bottom to top. Uh, and climb milling. Uh, lead in, lead out. I'm going to arc entry clearance. Uh, we'll see how that looks. You know, start at center, end at center. That makes sense. There is a multi pass. I mean, maybe we'll post it to see what it looks like. Linking parameters. Um, I'm going to come from negative 0.300 of clearance. Uh, my feed plane is going to be negative 100. I'm on the sub. It's a FANUC machine. Uh, I'm going to retract to an absolute negative 300. And the thread depth is going to be uh, essentially the bottom of the hole. That's 630 here. I'm going to back that off, uh, let's say, 615 thou in the negative top of the thread is going to be uh, that geometry that I click. See if I click in this box, it allows me to click on the model. Uh, reference points, I don't need any because of my clearance values, I don't think. And let's see uh, what happened. And, uh, you know, this is master cam, uh, so there's a possibility it didn't, it did, see like here, it, it flipped my uh, negative 300 clearance to uh, positive 300. So I guess it wants to see this value in positive, even though it's a uh, subspindle. Z is negative in this direction. So let's see what happens now. Okay. I dive in. The thread mill rolls. Uh, it, it appears that I got maybe one pass out of that. I mean, at this point, I could go to uh, verify is a good thing to do and uh, verify my path. And so I have this stuff happening and my thread mill. And then I can take a look at my hole, which is something I like to do, and try to make sure that it isn't lopsided, screwed up, chopped through the side of the part or anything like that. And in this case, it looks, uh, I mean, it looks favorable. Uh, so I'm going to say, you know, it probably, uh, uh, cut properly. So at this point, I could, uh, you know, post my, my code. And I'd like to do that. Let's see here. G1, well, this will bring up, uh, code expert. Machine Sim, Sync Manager, 
uh, I can just push two on post, and it'll bring me uh, this little operation that I wanted here. And uh, does this look right? Um, you know, hard to say. Uh, actually, uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't quite look familiar to me, but I, I'm used to looking at 28 pitch for this this thread diameter. So uh, let me check my uh, uh, parameters. One of the things I didn't check was cut parameters. I want compensation wear. Uh, that's pretty important for controlling the uh, uh, operation in the in the machine. And I don't want a taper angle. Uh, I don't have an allowance to undercut. So let's see. I could also check my my wire and make sure that's indeed a half inch uh, diameter, which is you know a couple thou over my or or at my nominal. Let's uh, go ahead and post again, and this might look better. And then we'll try multi passes. So, uh, well, this came up. Okay, sync manager, post. And we'll see. Uh, might not have coolant on this operation. I do. Okay, M07, M138 bed wash. Uh, I'm coming from clearance, negative 300 in FANEC. I'm coming back to clearance. I'm coming in at X0, C0, um, and I should see a line where it turns on my my cutter comp, and uh, ah, well, G12.1 puts me into uh, um, polar coordinate interpolation, but I don't, I don't. I don't believe I maybe I'm wrong, but I don't I don't see my cutter comp. Uh, no. So that's weird. Where? Uh, computer control. Where? I mean, if I if I look at my code, uh, this is something else. Should I close it? At any rate, uh, let's not get. I don't. I don't want to completely sidetrack the thing on on where where it should be posting. I don't know why it's not. But let's try this multi passes thing. Number of passes: one rough, one finish. Oh, and then you have to choose a step over. Okay. So that's that's where it becomes rough because who the heck knows what uh, um, what amount of stock you need. That's why we, we usually program as two passes. Let the uh, guys running the machine figure out what they want the wear to be. We put it on two different tool numbers, bring it back to reference. Uh, it's a waste of time theoretically, but we're on the uh, lower lower path. And we have free time on that path. So it's free. Um, and so now I see uh, pass number one, it looks like, coming to X0, C0, and we've got these values 125. Uh, it almost looks like it almost looks like it cut the same numbers twice. So that didn't work too well. And, and I don't see my color comp. But anyway, guys, uh, that might be a problem with my Milturn uh, machine sim. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. But uh, that's how you essentially to pick the thread tool, thread mill for thread milling, and perform thread milling on a uh, on mill turn in Mastercam. And uh, thanks for bearing with me. Um, I know it's not uh, perfect. Later.